Hey everyone, this is Dreadnought. I just got back from vacation to Florida. I was visiting my sister. And a lot has changed since I've been gone. So I'm just going to show a little bit of Whimsy Shire here. This is me and Archon. And what I want to talk about real quick is how you can change damage and survivability real quick. And uh, what are the best ways to do that. So I'm running through Whimsy right now with kind of a damage survivability mix here because uh, Whimsy Shire is is pretty difficult and so I need at least a minimum amount of survivability. I am using the dual wield and so I I could have gotten a little bit more survivability with some passives and the shield but I felt like this was a, a good mix between damage and defense and I specifically in, th in this part later on by the way in the last like two minutes I'm gonna show my uh, gear and skills and what I switch up when I need more survivability and what I use when I want max damage but right now what I want to talk about is the utility of revenge in a build because I see a lot of people they don't have a lot of confidence in re revenge they don't see the, the utility of it and when you're stacking vitality, revenge is especially useful. With the other classes, you might have noticed that stacking vitality isn't very effective. But the reason stacking vitality is so effective with the Barbarian is because of moves like revenge that replenish health based on number of people hit and based on max health. And so right now I'm using revenge with provocation, meaning that 30% of the time that I get hit, I will be healed. Uh, I will... my um, revenge will proc and when I use revenge I heal 5% per person hit. Now you see I just got murdered by these unicorns and uh, a big part of that is because there are not enough people around for revenge to be very useful. So you'll see I just sp speed this up real quick this is a boring part but you'll see right here that we're gonna try something different because both me and Archon's build kind of rely on large groups of people uh, and so when there's just three leads like this the fights can be pretty difficult so once I get down to pretty low uh, health I'm gonna run out and look for a large group of white enemies this can backfire on you if you run into another elite group um, but I get lucky and I find a, a large group of these teddy bears and so I'm, I'm repair I'm healing myself for 5% of my max health per enemy hit so if I get a large group of these small units together then I can heal to full almost with some of these revenges and so I'm gonna bring this teddy bear mob up right as my uh, wrath is about to come off cooldown and take two on ponies is gonna go a little bit better and that's because of that swarm of teddy bears I have behind me and so my revenge not only is proccing much more often it is also healing me for a much more am a higher amount so if you're a barbarian uh, and you're wondering how you can give a little more utility to your revenge try and group a lot of these uh, weaker units in with your elite groups and you're going to be able to, to spam their revenge and you're going to get a lot more out of each revenge that you use so now I just want to talk a little bit about how you can increase your damage versus survivability first I'm going to show a kind of a damage build uh, and so you'll see my second ability there is the battle cry increase 30% uh, damage when I use that. So I throw that out first and you can see the damage increase went from 30k to over 40k. And the the next way to get damage up is to max out my fury since I don't have any real fury spenders ex except for berserk. It's nice to use the passive that increases 25% damage for full fury. So you'll see another jump almost up to 50,000. And then in Wrath, you get up to 110,000. See, and that's that's not a huge amount, but I only started with 30,000. So just with a, key, a few key abilities, uh, you can get up to a really high amount of damage. I'm going to show a little bit of how you can switch to survivability really fast just by putting on a, a shield and changing up a few of your passives. And I always switch passives before abilities just because it's going to affect your gameplay less and the more you can keep your abilities the same the the more of a routine you can get into but if I am going to change an ability it's going to be uh, that 30% damage increase I'm going to change out for wrenching smash and this is my survivability build you can see my resistances are all above 
a thousand. My armor is up to about 80% damage reduction and 42k health. If you have any questions about survivability and damage, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for all the subscriptions and views, they help out a lot. And let me know what it is you want to know about the Barbarian next, and send me your uh, battle tag if you would like to play with Archon and myself. We love playing with our subscribers, so and as you can either put it in the comments, or if you don't want people seeing your battle tag, then just uh, send me a personal message. And that's it. Thanks for watching.